do you think about such constellations? It is obviously not possible to win this fight. Subdue and pray is your only hope here. Well, let's see if that's true. Let's talk sigils again today. So I'm seeing a lot of people that are saying that they're really struggling on the sigil campaign map. And uh, honestly, I don't understand where people are coming from. But at the same time, I've been telling people for a long time that there are essentially two sigil combos in this game that are going to help carry you through fights. That is Purity Daredevil and Wonder slash Acceptance combos for things like the dungeon. Purity and Daredevil, they single-handedly carried me through the current Sigil campaign map. And that's against dragons with legendary sigils, even though one of my dragons only has an uncommon Daredevil on it. Now, I do believe that we will start running into issues probably next Sigil map, if it's still going to scale like it does, where we're going to go against possibly enemies with two legendary sigils. But right now, which is the point where everyone else seems to be struggling, Every single map fight has really not been that difficult. You'll see that in the screenshot that the person posted, it is a fight that has two dragons with legendary daredevil and one with an epic daredevil with cruelty. Now, the thing is with this team, if you leave the first dragon, the cosmos, to survive, he's probably going to one-shot you because of his daredevil and cruelty. And then if you leave dragon number two alive, it's probably also going to one-shot you or close to. So the best strategy for this isn't to throw on subdue. It isn't to allow yourself to get hit because, well, you'll be dead by then. The best thing that you can do is one-shot the enemy. And then I have... My Ikez dragon is an ancient in the second slot, which reduces the damage that the second dragon does. And then you just have to hope that uh, dragon number three takes out the least important member of your team. So the team that I obviously use all the time is Andy, Raid, and Silver. So that's the Autumn, Ikez, and the Nezha dragons. This isn't a perfect combo, but the reason why this team is the one that I use is because, well, I've got two um, rares on our Autumn Dragon, Purity and Daredevil, which will one-shot anything below Legendary, and it will actually one-shot a dragon with a single Legendary sigil attached when he's at full HP. And then Raid unfortunately doesn't have double rare, we're still running an uncommon, but he can still do 75% of a dragon's HP, and plus because he's got his Legendary, uh, not Legendary skill, his Ancient skill, that means that Ikez is able to reduce the damage coming in. And now the reason that I have Nezha as the third slot dragon is essentially for the healing, because you can heal back the other two which are going to lose HP, and the reason I have Evasion, which is going to start becoming more and more obvious at this point, is because when we go into the Sigil campaign map, when we're going to take on certain fights, all that you need sometimes is just for what say, your Nezha Dragon to just survive a turn. And if you have a high evasion on there, in all likelihood you're probably going to survive at least one attack, which means you can heal up your other two dragons, and then you can take on the dragons again. Essentially from scratch, which means that you can essentially one-shot three to four dragons minimum. So, you know, I understand that people... Uh, may not necessarily have the two rare combo in terms of uh, Purity and Daredevil. Again, even I don't have two dragons with rares because I haven't been buying many of those premium sigil chests. I bought a few with existing gems when they first came out, but um, I've just been sort of avoiding them because sometimes, you know, we get them in the shop, we've been getting them in the Whale Mart, and they are really, really good for getting um, upgraded sigils, but it's just for a good while I've been able to sort of uh, survive with the sigils that I currently have. 
But if you're gonna go against dragons that are gonna one shot you, relying on you not getting one shot isn't gonna be the best strategy. I mean, that should be pretty obvious, and I don't know why everyone keeps talking about this and saying this over and over again on the forums. Now, I do understand that a lot of people are concerned because, you know, we've had people talking about the fact that it just feels like this is forcing players into, you know, basically using two combos of sigils if you want to consistently complete it. And I don't think it should be like that. I think the sigils right now are incredibly unbalanced. And again, Daredevil and um, Purity at the moment are incredibly good for map fights, including sigil map. And uh, again, Acceptance and Wonder are fantastic for Dungeon, and there's very little that could ever come close to beating them right now. And um, again, there's so much RNG that is reliant on some of the sigils, which only really gets negated when they get to Legendary, but getting Legendary free to play is not going to happen for a very long time. So. You know, I understand people's concerns, and I am sort of worried about... This Sigil campaign map is going to be easy for now. I'm not struggling with any of the fights, I just haven't logged in every day. But you'll see I've been three-starring most of them. They really have not been an issue, and that's on um, first attempts for all of them. But after this Sigil campaign map finishes, and after we get spotty... I do wonder what sort of tiers of sigils we're going to go against, because if we start going against dragons with two legendaries or legendary plus rares, I think that might be nearly impossible for people to actually do free to play. So I hope it's a while until we see that. But I keep seeing people saying that this current sigil map is impossible, and it's not. You're probably just not using the one super OP combo. And uh, again, it's really good to have a healer and two dragons with purity daredevil at a minimum. If you're just trying to stomp the fights, which you can see is easily done. Um, but at the same time, you know, people keep suggesting to use subdue. And I can understand the mentality or the reasoning as to why they tell you to use subdue. Because it says, a 40% chance to mute sigils on the primary target for one turn. That's the rare version. Let's assume you've somehow managed to have an epic version of that. So that's what, 50 to 60 percent? I don't remember exactly. But that's still more or less a 50-50 as to whether that's even going to work. And the problem is with the Sigil campaign. We've only got very limited amounts of energy per day. And if you want to refill, it costs 80 gems. So you don't want to be banking your entire win on a very random chance. And that's essentially what a 50% is. It's a 50% when you attack that you're actually going to subdue them. Is it going to work? Might, might not. But that's going to be maybe if we go 50%, you win, 50% you lose. That's only two fights that you're going to complete a day. And that's not consistent enough. Which is why the combo that I use is the way that it is. It's incredibly consistent because, again, you can just one shot anything that you want. I don't even train these dragons, I don't even bother with training anymore because it makes such a little difference and obviously you know dragon fury has been destroyed as of sigils implementation but at the same time again just going for raw damage that one shots your opponent is consistent it will never ever fail unless their sigils are just a, a tier too high for you to one shot but if it is say for andy if it's just one legendary sigil they're gonna die Unless it's like a, one of those that reduces incoming damage and they've got a certain school. But most of them don't have that on the actual sigil map yet. But, you know, again, I am slightly worried about how it's going to keep growing. Same with other people in terms of, you know, its overall difficulty. I am slightly concerned. But this sigil map is not impossible. And I keep seeing posts about it on the forums. People saying it's impossible. People saying, I don't even play this, but maybe you should try using Subdue. Subdue is not good. Subdue is not good enough. If the percentage was like 90%, which is, you know, basically legendary, I would agree with you. But right now, most people, in fact, every single person alive does not have a Subdue and uh, other sigils at legendary rarity. So it's not good enough, okay? There's a reason why I 
I'm myself and many other people are consistently doing these fights really easily and other people aren't. And relying on RNG tactics is not going to give you consistent victories. But I mainly just wanted this as a mini rant because again I've been seeing so many people post It's impossible! You can't win! Nobody can win! You need to be paid to win! I've not paid to win for any of the chests. All the chests that I've bought were with existing gems that I haven't actually gone out of my way to buy any additional gems for. Like you can see I've actually gained gems over the last like two months from just not spending them because you can do that in game if you just don't spend like on random stuff. I guess if anything I could buy a hatchery level 4 but it's just because I don't have a second breeding den. I don't really need to. Anyway, again this was my mini rant about sigils again for anyone that is struggling just understand that there's like two good combos out there anything else ends up putting you way behind and plus at the same time you want sigils that you can use consistently because swapping off sigils from one dragon to another it costs a lot of trinkets and you don't want to be wasting those trinkets because if you ever need to upgrade a specific sigil then it's going to cost you a good portion of the trinkets that you have so um, that's why I have, you'll see that in my dragons I've got the Purity Daredevil, Purity Daredevil, and then Nessa, who's just a good all-round healer all the time. And then the other dragons have Acceptance on them, because they're used in the dungeon to just stay alive for ages. But they don't do heaps and heaps of damage, so they're not as good for the Sigil maps and the challenging maps. What Saini, for example, and Free is good for is just regular map fights because if we go into a regular map fight and say we want to do a side quest fight they're really good for this because they can just one shot all the opponents anyway because obviously the regular map is not super challenging and it's not balanced to be like that so they're really good for just easy clearing all the regular map fights but they just don't do as much damage as specific sigil combos. So even though Acceptance and Havoc is great in the dungeon and some other situations, it's not great for dealing with dragons that have much higher tiers of sigils than you. So um, I hope this helped some of you out, maybe that have just been screaming, saying that it's impossible. I hope you at least take something out of this to not necessarily say that you know, you're an idiot on it or anyone else is an idiot. It's not about that. It's just the fact that I don't like it when people keep screaming on the forums that it's not possible. Or on Facebook, I just keep seeing post after post of people saying, you can't do it. It's not possible. It's impossible. Literally, I failed one sigil map fight ever, ever on this account so far. And it's because I didn't realize I was doing sigil map fights and I just attacked as if it was a regular map fight. You have to actually pay attention, and I know that that's difficult for some of us, but you have to. It's like, if we were going to go into this fight, for example, you'd want to go for the dragons that have the highest tier sigils that could potentially do damage. So in this case, I'd probably go for the dragon that has the legendary wonder first, because what if they end up buffing that one? It's got the legendary tier sigil, it'll destroy me. So I'd take out the cherry eyes first and then for this one here for example I'm not sure if we'd be able to survive an attack from the first red rib that's the first dragon that we'd go against so I'd take him out first and then I'd reduce the damage of the other one that has the legendary havoc you know I hope this makes sense in in order of prioritization because when you can one-shot dragons or very close to one-shot dragons you can do very good things by just using your head. So for example, this one here with Storm, Snow Ghost and Paishish, Paishish, you would take out Storm because again, Daredevil Cruelty, you're going to get destroyed and then go for the next one that's, well the other two both have Legendary Witchcraft, so if it was a higher tier evasion I'd probably avoid going for that one because evasion just sort of destroys everything, but you know. Just make sure that the first dragon you go for is the right one. And again, if you're going to get one shot by that dragon in the first slot, just one shot it instead. 
it saves you an entire turn, you can do a lot of damage back to the enemies, and again, if they've got a purity, like in this instance, you take out the briar first, and then your second dragon half healths the second dragon, which means it's not going to one-shot you, and then you just have to hope that dragon number three doesn't take out one of your main two, or even if it does, half the time, you'll be fine anyway. So, you know, that's generally how I've been dealing with the legendary sigils this time around. Again, I would love to just be able to play all these fights out and show you every single fight how I've been doing, but, you know, because we've got such limited em energy, it's just a pain in the backside. But, um, you know, if I start really struggling and I have to eat my words, I'll be more than happy to do it, but right now I am just getting slightly annoyed <laughs> by how negative everyone's being. Like, it's not impossible. It's not. Just stop. Doesn't matter how many times you scream it's impossible, it doesn't mean that it actually is. Anyway, for now that's my mini rant for today. Um, if you do need any help, do let people know in the Discord server. There are a lot of people that also have been doing really well on the map in the Discord server and they can help you out. But uh, it mainly comes down to Purity Daredevil. <laughs> I've been saying it for months, it's just they're too broken at the moment. And by that I mean everything else is just underpowered comparatively so if they want to buff some of the other synergies that would be fantastic but um anyway for now thank you for joining me and uh, i hope to see you again soon